Yeah, so the weight is, is up a little bit. And we were just at 224 a few days ago, so we've been trying to push it up. So now we have to kind of settle off and let the weight, you know, kind of come back down because the top of our weight class is 231. So we don't want to be over 231 necessarily. Anyways, I'm gonna show you guys my physique update right now. Definitely feel a little bit watery, holding on to a lot. Had pizza last night, had some drinks last night, stuff like that. I need to honestly drink more water today uh, to try to flush a lot of this out, but this is what we're looking like. 234 pounds in the morning. Uh, this is four weeks, a little over four weeks post-show. Crazy how I went from literally 211 to 212, but this is what the physique is looking like. And uh, you know, it's not the greatest physique I've ever had, but um, I've been eating a lot, probably more than I needed to. Uh, and I've been trying to fill back out for this powerlifting meet, trying to get strong. Physique hasn't been the top of my priorities. So this is what we're looking like right now. the greatest shape that I've ever possibly been in, but we are five days out from this uh, powerlifting meet. We actually uh, leave for Istanbul uh, tomorrow night. Um, but then once we come back, get ourselves back on track with some new goals, there's gonna be a whole new series coming soon after that. Um, but like I said, the focus right now, be as strong as possible in the next five days, optimize everything we can. You know, a little bit of fat gain, a lot of water holding on to right now. I feel really full. And uh, my body obviously should feel really full with all the calories and carbs I'm giving it, but um, this is what we're working with right now. So, start with breakfast. I'm gonna make some pancakes, show you guys what we're having. So, breakfast today is gonna be three large pancakes. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, we have Reese's Puffs and uh, chocolate chips in here too, so I'm gonna calculate that in as well. So, what we did was we did 110 grams of regular pancake mix. We did one scoop of the BPN whey protein, the pumpkin spice flavor. So, these are technically pumpkin pancakes. We did that with five ounces of skim milk, uh, two whole eggs, one serving of egg whites. So this is a pretty high protein meal, actually. A lot of carbs too, obviously from uh, the pancake mix. We did that. And we're also doing a little bit of bacon here too. So I made five pieces um, for me and Allie. And um, so I'm taking probably three, she's probably gonna take two. We could probably split it even, but I made her some pancakes too. So we're both doing pancakes. Mine versus yours. Yeah, literally, let me show you guys. Allie's pancakes versus my pancakes. I mean. Yours look good. Yeah, I, I made yours like the last two like a little bit more watery so you could get more pancakes out of it. So that's gonna be more like a crepe or something like that. And then Allie picking up a coffee on the way which is gonna be some calories too. But that's what we're looking like. That looks beautiful. Protein pancakes for breakfast. You can't be wrong. All right, what's going on guys? So we are at the airport right now. I got Ali on the phone right here. We've been delayed for a few hours now. Like our flight was supposed to take off at 9.40, I believe, and it was supposed to board at like 8.40. It's currently 11.43 right now. So I've literally just been sitting here doing almost absolutely nothing. I'm trying to stay productive. Uh, downloaded a few books for the flight. Been watching some informational videos, make some TikToks, all that kind of stuff. But we've been delayed like three, four times already. Um, and we have a long flight coming up. It's like a 12 hour flight to Turkey. So at the airport, everyone's getting, everyone's getting pretty much lined up here. The lady at the front desk, she gave me like an exit row. So hopefully got some more room, uh, window seat, all that stuff. So it should be really cool. So let you guys know we're on there. Finally boarding the plane after like hours of waiting. So here we go, off to Turkey very soon. Alright guys, so we pulled up to the 
warm up room this morning. I forgot to show you guys the um, the breakfast we had. So they have like a, a full free breakfast here and everything too. Really weird. I ended up going to bed at like what did we go to bed at like 1 or 2 a.m.? 1.30, 2 a.m. That was like 3 p.m. Like back in Houston. So it was really weird because like I just got off the plane and I had been sleeping on the plane. And I get back here and it was pretty much like time to go to bed again. I wasn't sure I should stay up or what I should do, but went to bed. Got like four or five more hours of sleep. And then uh, we got up like 6.30ish. Got breakfast. It's like 7.30, 8 a.m. right now. We're hitting a lift. This is the warm-up room. Jarrett. Kyle's brother right here, he's competing. So, you're on, on Thursday? Uh, Thursday, Thursday. Okay, so Kyle competes today, me and Jared compete on Thursday. So, um, you know, bigger weight classes compete later on in the week. So, Kyle's going today. We're hitting like literally one or two more sessions. So, um, today's supposed to be a pretty heavy day for me. So, we're trying to bring the energy a little bit here. And we're <laughs> the warm room's a little dead right now, man. So, pretty dead back here, but um, yeah, we're gonna get into this. I'm probably gonna do maybe squat bench and deadlift, we'll see. If not, we'll deadlift tomorrow. But yeah, literally two days until we step on the platform for competition. So hopefully everything's feeling good today. We took some Advil, feeling nice and smooth now. <laughs> Advil's the most important part, Dude. you know? Yeah, about three, <laughs> four times <laughs> serving a day. Yeah, literally, <laughs> literally. So we, we got that in our system. We got some pre-workout going. We've got uh, some BPM flight. I got this with me. Of course, I had to bring that. So I got all stocked up on stuff. Um, we got the pink lemonade flight. We've got the Blackberry Lemonade Endo Pump, and then I have G1M, just in case, for electrolytes and carbs as we go. We're gonna get this work in. It's basically still 11 p.m. or like midnight back home. So this is really strange, but like, obviously it's morning here, so we're trying to adjust. Hit 584 on squat, felt pretty good, honestly. So like 573 is what I hit last week and it moved kind of slow, but uh, this one moved probably just as slow and that's still an 11 pound increase. So we'll take it. Maybe just, if anything, give me like a little bit more confidence. We're literally two days out, so I need all the confidence I can get. We can't really, I, mean, I guess we could gain the tiniest bit of strength if we just kind of get comfortable with, you know, pushing around these heavy weights again, but 584, we'll absolutely take it. It was hard, but that's kind of what I need. We did a top set of four with 512 today. So in the past like two weeks, I've been doing five, or no, 485 for my top sets of four. So um, that's up 27 pounds, something like that, um, from last week's top sets of four. So I will absolutely take that too. 27 pounds up for set of four, felt good. If anything, like I said, give me some confidence going into this thing. We're gonna start warming up on bench over here. While we're finishing up some back downs and squats, we got 460 something over here, three reds, uh, yellow, and a black right here. We got the boys, we got Jared over here, uh, we got Milad. Is today last training day or you got? Last training day today. Okay, when are you on Friday. Thursday or Friday? Friday. Okay, so you're taking two days off? Two days off, yep. Damn, bro, okay. Yep. I think I'm still training tomorrow. Yeah, I'm not. I think I'm still going tomorrow, man. I, well, I need it, because I, yeah. I took off yesterday and the day before, so I kind of need it, but Milad's going Friday, what weight class? Uh, 120. 120, I'm going 105. Two years ago, I competed 120 at collegiate. That's crazy, bro. That's, you know, that we weighed the same as some point. <laughs> we like 264 as a cap. I was like, uh, I was like 232. Like, yeah, I was crazy. like at the very bottom of the weight class. So, anyways, we're uh, getting some bench in with the boys. We got some of the other teams over there as well, getting all their stuff in. And uh, I think competitions start up pretty soon here at like 10 or 12 or something like that. So, trying to finish through this stuff. And uh, yeah, not too bad. The actual venue where the meet is going to be held so right there is the platform up there so is there just one platform then wow that's crazy because CNATS was like four or five platforms that set up not huge or anything one platform here but uh that's where it's going to be they got a couple a couple little booths over here selling some stuff but uh wrapped up the workout this morning so we'll see what we do now kyle competes i believe at two o'clock 
it's like 9.30, almost 10 o'clock now. Um, so the first session will go, he's the second session. Uh, so I'm gonna go help him out with all that, film for him, get what we need content-wise for that. Make sure he's good to go uh, to hit some world records and stuff like that today. Like he's actually gonna do really, really well. And he's, I think he's slated to win first. Like he's like ranked number one, so uh, super happy for him. And like, excited to see how he does today. But we got two more days. We're gonna see if we hit deadlift in between session one and two, because I still kind of want to hit deadlift. I'm thinking about maybe just taking off tomorrow completely. So I have a full day of rest before the competition. But today, best day of training yet. Um, funny, it's two days out, like, and uh, it's the heaviest weights I've hit on everything yet. So I'm building up some confidence and stuff, which is really, really good. So come Thursday, we should be ready to go. A little more confidence under the heavier weights. Good to go, man. It's gonna be the place in two days. Istanbul, Turkey. Let's get it, bro. We're out here right now, so. <sighs> Excited for it. Going for 540 right now. Doesn't seem like a lot, but it's a lot for me right now. <laughs> Has been. Yeah. No pain either. Sleeping last night or my back hurts. I'm actually very sore today. My back and legs. <laughs> like good yeah. thing I'm taking off today, honestly. Yeah. Yesterday was uh like the best powerlifting day yet, but uh I can feel it dude. I can really feel it. So right. we are uh in Istanbul and we're stopping at an American favorite. Are you open? No. Uh, not open? So I guess Burger King isn't open till eleven and it's ten AM right now, but I'm pretty hungry. Uh this morning I was two twenty seven point two pounds my weight class goes up to 231.4 so we have some room to work with yesterday I was like 230 apparently I dropped like five pounds overnight um, so I'm gonna try and eat a little bit more today give myself a little bit filled out with as much carbs calories as possible so yeah. what'd you say making friends with the locals right? what'd you say? I just over here for collegiate world powerlifting he saw the camera and uh, he asked what my YouTube was he literally just subscribed to me right now it's kind of cool Hmm. That's really good. Really good. <laughs> yeah, we'll we'll send we'll send you a workout program. Mm. You guys are legend, man. Thank, thank you, man. Appreciate you, bro. <laughs> thank you. Thank you so much, man. Appreciate you. He said into the phone, I hope you will always be successful. What a guy, man. We're just not like in the city at all. Um, so we're kind of a little bit far from the actual city of Istanbul right now. Uh, what's it called? Pastries and Danishes and stuff. At a, like the most local place we possibly go to. We gotta get him a workout program, man. All right, if you guys made it this far in the video, I appreciate all the support. As always, we got a meet day video coming up in the next video here in like probably two days. It's gonna be crazy, really, really solid meet for me. Uh, obviously, like I said, coming off a bodybuilding show, it wasn't the greatest that I possibly could have done, but really enjoyed it, had a great time out in Turkey, and uh, it was a really solid meet. So meet day video coming in like two days. Look out for that one. Make sure to subscribe if you're not already. Make sure to like, drop a comment, please. Let me know what you guys wanna see in future videos coming up here. I think we're gonna do like a bulking series coming up very, very shortly. And yeah, look out for the meet day video coming soon. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. Let's get it.